Hey guys, so today is Saturday the 19th and I have a pretty busy day so it's the morning of what's supposed to be a snowmageddon. We're supposed to get 12 inches of snow starting at 5 p.m. and so I'm it's what time is it it's 903 right now and i woke up took a shower took george out fed him and now i'm gonna make myself some coffee and something to eat and then i have to go to ulta and target and i thought i'll take you with me and we can hang out and i'll kind of give you some like updates wedding updates vlog style because this whole weekend so one second so peter is at his bachelor party in south beach and I'm by myself and so I thought I'll dedicate the entire weekend to just filming um, so I have to do like three videos a day and so I'm kind of feeling rushed today because I have to get back home before it starts getting dark so that I have the light to film so I'm just gonna so okay so I have to go to Ulta and I'm moving a lot I'm sorry I'm sorry I have to go to Ulta um, because I need to get more of these the Ardell Double Wispies, and these are gonna be my wedding lashes, and I have one more pair left, and I like to wear them for filming, and so that means that I need to get more for this whole weekend of filming. Um, and I also need to get NARS liquid lipstick in the color American Woman, which will be my wedding color. I have a little sample, and I'm like paranoid that it's gonna run out or something, so I need to get the full size, then I need to go to Target, and I have, that's my coffee and I have an entire list of things that I need um Peter like I honestly won like the dream man lottery with him he is so sweet he went and got us like all this food for in case we're stuck in the snow so he did grocery shopping for me I don't need to do any of that but um I wanted to go to Target and get like gift bags for my bridesmaids gifts and like for the parents and stuff and also thank you cards for the bridesmaids and the parents and the groomsmen and what else do I need baskets for the bathroom I ordered a bunch of stuff for the baskets, um, you know, like those like little like tampons and hairpins and stuff like that. Um, and I also need paper towel, toilet paper, laundry detergent, like I ran out of like the home stuff and even a body wash. You guys will see, I'm filming um, today probably, I'm gonna film an empties and there's like five body washes in there because we always have multiple at a time and when they run out they tend to run out around the same time and so it seems like we shower 17 times a day um so i need body wash like just simple things like that um and yeah so now i'm making my coffee i'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on because i can't be going out in public like this but i'll show you what peter got me so he got me this whipped cream for coffee it's called ready whip and it's non-dairy with coconut milk. It's really good. It tastes exactly like regular whipped cream. So if you are vegan or if you want to cut out dairy or cut back on dairy, which I'm trying to, um, it's really good. And also, what, what else was I supposed to tell you? What else did I want to tell you? I don't remember. Oh, I got this candle finally. I've been thinking about it for like years. Joe Malone. This is the lime, basil, and mandarin. So when I first lit it, I didn't think I could smell anything. Then it hit me, and it's really strong, so I had it on for like two hours, and I had to put it out, but I really like it, and it seems that it's going to last a long time. Like, some candles burn so quickly, but that one actually seems like it's going to last, so I'm going to eat something really quickly, put a little bit of makeup on, and I think I'll do the rest like when I come back before I film, and I'll talk to you again in the car. This is how my morning is going so far. I used it once, and it will not come out. Ugh. And I shook it and I did everything. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> so I'm heading out and I covered Georgie with Peter's shirt. And he has not moved in 15 minutes. Bye, my angel. Look how sad he gets. Like, how do you ever leave the house when your dog looks this sad? I'll try to make it quick. Bye. Love you. Okay, I'm not looking super great, but it's a little bit better than this morning. When I watched back the clip, I was like, OMG. Sometimes I leave the house and Peter's like, are you really gonna wear this? And I'm like, yep. There's a time and a place to look good and it's not on a Saturday morning on your way to Target. Do you like my glasses? They're gonna be in my honeymoon haul video. So you'll see that probably in like a week. And, um, I have two more weekends until my wedding. I am so 
I, I just like cannot even function at this point because I'm so nervous. Not nervous that anything will go wrong. I don't think that it will. Like, I feel like that's what people are mostly nervous for if, is for, you know, like if anything goes wrong. And I think everything will go exactly how it's supposed to. I'm just nervous of crying because I am a very emotional person. I cry at like commercials. So I'm really terrified of like, you know, just the entire ceremony just like crying my makeup off and um and i don't just like cute cry like a tear here or there i full-on ugly kim kardashian type of cry um and actually we met with our oh my gosh i always forget the title of this person you know the guy that's marrying you what is the title for that i can't i'm having such a brain fart um efficient efficient we met with him last saturday in new york when i went for my last dress fitting and by the way if i'm talking weird it's because i'm wearing invisalign i have one more week in a week exactly in a week minus 56 minutes i'll they'll be off so i'm excited but also a little nervous because i feel like it's not perfect still if you looked at the morning clip like this video in the morning when I wasn't wearing it the one tooth is still I feel like sticking out a little bit so I don't know hopefully it'll get fixed within the next week because it's making me nervous but um, so we met with the efficient and we were going over everything and he asked us if we want to have a mention of people that couldn't be there um, such as they're like our family members from Poland and the members um, of our family that have passed away and that alone made me tear up so much I had to like take a moment to catch my breath and literally he all he said was do, do you want a mention of the people that have passed away and I was like oh, I, don't, I don't know I don't know I don't want to cry like I am just a mess when it comes to the wedding so I'm really nervous about that and I feel like once after the first dances when we get to sit down and you know like eat dinner and then party after that when I don't really have to do anything anymore is when I'm finally gonna relax and like let go because up until then I'm just gonna be like a constant stage of panic so yeah I can't wait for you guys to see the dress I had a fitting like I said last Saturday so exactly a week ago I went with Peter um, because we had to meet with the with the, with that guy after um, so I just kind of went in by myself and it wasn't like super duper perfect there was I don't want to give away how what the dress looks like but there is an area where I feel like there was extra fabric and you can't really see it unless I'm standing at like a specific angle and she said there needs to be extra fabric there because um, so that I can move freely but I just am worried that like the fabric it's just gonna look awkward and I hope it doesn't show up in photos like I'm a little worried about that um, everything else is pretty much good um, I can't lose or gain weight at this point like it fits me perfectly so I need to stay at the way that I am and I I really thought that like getting engaged and having my wedding will make me into this gym rat and it has not <laughs> whatsoever like I'm um, I have not worked out I have not been on a diet like we've tried a couple of uh, diets here and there where like you eat like only vegetables for like two days kind of like a cleanse but yeah it never really stuck so I'm the way that I am when we got engaged and I'm honestly fine with that like I just wish I didn't have a double chin like my chin and my belly are the only and I have like a couple rolls here on the side if I didn't have that like I'm fine with everything else it's just like my belly side area and my chin so but at this point honestly it's not gonna change and I don't know I feel like when you get older your body just kind of changes a little bit and it's not that you eat like shit because I feel like I've been eating the same way always like I've never I even eat less candy now than I used to when I was in college and I weigh more like 30 pounds more and I feel like it's just because like when you get older your metabolism slows down and your body just changes so it's not like I'm just like a fat ass now that eats everything I eat the same it's just you know like my body is just different so I'm fine with that I don't think that you need to have a perfect body um, the only thing that I think would make me feel a little bit better is a like if I was a little more tan um, because it just I feel like automatically makes you feel a little 
makes you look a little bit better when you're you know like when you have a spray tan or you know like a fake bake or something um, but I really didn't like how my spray tan washed off last time I got it it washed off in patches and I had like weird patches like all over my chest all over my back and I don't want that on my honeymoon so I'm not gonna get a spray tan I'm just gonna be pasty white um, and yeah so there's two more weekends until the wedding next weekend is my bachelorette party in New York I don't really know like what we're doing they won't tell me but we're going to New York in the after so the morning I'm getting my retainer off my like the little buttons and stuff then um, around like I guess like three or so we're heading into the city we're gonna go to the hotel and there's supposed to be like the games and stuff in the room then we have dinner reservations at nine because that was like the only time and my friend made these reservations like three months three months ago and it just like is some i don't even know what the she won't tell me what the place is but apparently it's like super duper busy um and then i think we're gonna go dancing or something and i don't have an outfit at all <laughs> i ordered something on amazon it's supposed to come tomorrow i don't even know if it will but we'll see um i ordered this like bodysuit and it's white and the sleeves have like sequin I think it's like pink sequin flowers on it i don't know we'll see how it looks and then after that the following weekend i'm going to pick up my gown at noon and then i have to go get a hair piece like some kind of jewels for my head for the wedding because i still don't know what kind of hair i'm doing and i need to figure that out within this week so that i can you know go and get whatever piece i need and then that's it and then the weekend after that is the wedding and then I'll be in St. Lucia. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be on an island. You guys have no idea. Like, well, we've traveled, we travel every year, but the last few years we went, so last, last summer we went to Poland. The summer before that, what did we do the summer before that? Oh, we went to Spain, Mallorca, and Portugal. The summer before that, was that Italy? I don't know, but like, we have not been to an island. I went to Mexico with my best friend. I think two years ago um, for like four nights which was really fun but like I'm looking forward to being on an island with like palm trees and tropical drinks and stuff like that with Peter I'm so excited for that and then in the summer we're going to France we're, we're going to Paris to the south of France Nice Provence I don't really know the names of all these places but yeah like we're going all over France so I'm really excited for that then in November we're taking my little brother to Disney World it's his communion this May and as his gift we're gonna take him there for a week and we're, we're probably gonna stay in like a Disney resort um, and then in the winter I think we're gonna go to Florida for Christmas I just got back in the car so I got the lashes I got three of them they were buy two get one free and I got the lipstick and I couldn't decide because the one that I've been using is called American Woman. Um, but there's another one that I really liked as well. It was called uh, Save the Queen. But And I tried it on and I think it kind of looks like uh, Lovesick or Lovecraft uh, by Kat Von D that I already have. So I ended up just getting the American Woman and I'll show you what it looks like. They were i was gonna get both but they're 27 dollars and i'm really trying like not to spend so much money now so i'll put it on and show you what it looks like oh let me put you here okay i need a mirror for this Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't know, tell me what you think. Is it good for a wedding? Um, the only thing I can tell you is that my dress is very romantic, so that's why I wanted something like more red on my lips as opposed to like the Kat Van D ones are like pink purplish. I thought red would be more classy, so let me know what you think. It actually wears really well. It's very comfortable and creamy, so now I'm heading to Target. How cute is everything here? So cute. I love this.
How cute are these? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love these vibes, like the kind of neutral, beige kind of stuff. This is so pretty. This is eyeliner, by the way. Oh, I love that. What is it? Huh. Really like it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that is cute. So my vibes. Oh my god, I'm finally leaving. I spent $155 and I feel like I bought like nothing. Um, but I got like home stuff, toilet paper, paper towels, trash bags, laundry detergent. Um, I got a book to read, um, gift bags, cards, and I like wedding last minute stuff. Finally heading home, it's noon. Yeah, we spent way, way, way too much money today. Like, I thought I'm gonna spend a third of that, but oh well, now I'm gonna go home and film videos and get ready for the snow. I did not enjoy this Target trip because I bought so much stuff and also I was like waiting in line and I was paying and it wouldn't go through. I had to wait like 15 minutes for someone to come by and he's like, oh, because we're having a promotion, you can scan a gift card. But I said, well, how much? He's like, no, just an empty gift card. You get it for free and you can load it. I'm like, isn't that how gift cards work? And so he's like, take the gift card, scan it, scan it, scan it. And I'm like, ah! Like, he literally had me like running to get the gift card. Ugh. All right, finally heading home. Paper things are really expensive. Like the thank you cards. I didn't even get all the thank you cards, just the bridesmaids and groomsmen. I didn't even get like parent ones. And like the thank you cards and the gift bags were like probably $80. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, heading home now taking out George and probably prepping for videos. I have to eat something. I am so hungry. Like I wanted to pass out in the store. So I'll see you at home. I'm finally home. We're gonna go on a walk now. You're gonna go on a walk? Yeah. Whenever I tell him let's go on a walk, he like sits on me. He's like, yeah, all right. I'm not leaving, but we gotta go before it snows. Yes, I love you. Um. Then I'm going to eat something and then I'm going to film. So I think the next video I'm doing, I'll definitely do a huge perfume declutter because I do have like 50 bottles and it's excessive. And I tried doing a declutter before and it didn't really work. So I'll do that. Um, and I think I'll film empties today. And then tomorrow I might film like a wedding. What is it? Like kind of like how to have a stress-free wedding planning because... I think I did pretty good. Like, it really has not been stressful except for me just worrying about crying. Um, and then, what else do I have? I have, like, a list of videos I want to make. Oh, and I'm going to show you guys what I got for my bridesmaids. That video won't be uploaded until probably, like, my wedding day or the day after. So, after they get it. But I'm going to film it and you'll see, like, the gifts I got them. I might show you what I got my mom as well. Peter's mom's gift is not here yet. And then I'll show you what I got for the dads and um, and my little brother. And the groomsmen's gift is not here yet. So, but yeah. So I'll do that video and maybe pack with me for the honeymoon. I'll see, but I'll do that. And yeah, so now we're going to go on a walk. I got these little booties for him and he doesn't like them because he gets scared when I stretch them out and they make a noise. But they don't hurt. They look like balloons. They're kind of stupid. Like, it's like $10 and they literally look like balloons. But basically, the idea of it is that when it's raining and it's muddy or it's snowing and they have, like, the salt that can hurt the dog's paws, um, you put these on and it basically just protects them against getting, like, really dirty feet or getting... Um, 
like hurt by whatever chemicals they put on like the grass or when it's icy um it's not really for warmth but i found that he really doesn't mind them um he just doesn't like putting them all on and taking them off but I've bought him actual booties in the past, like with a thick saw that's supposed to keep him warm. And he would just like lift a leg up and just hold it up in the air. And like, he would not be able to walk in them. Like it was too weird for him. And these are so thin. They're basically as thin as a balloon. So they don't feel them on and they can walk normal. So this is just because he has a lot of hair on his paws and we have to get it trimmed all the time. And when it's muddy, it's like impossible to wipe out. I have to to wipe off I have to like put him in the bathtub it's like this whole big ordeal and he gets super wet and like so that's why I got them so we're gonna go on a walk and then I'll show you what I'm eating for lunch which it's only noon but I feel like it's like 7 p.m because I've been doing so much today or like at least for me like I've been at Target for like an hour and a half it was just annoying um so I'll show you what I making for lunch and then i'll show you some of the things i got for the wedding i got a couple of um little like decor items so i'll see you soon i just filmed my empties <laughs> i can't i was talking for so long um and now i'm gonna eat something and then film georgie don't lick yourself okay um and then i'm gonna film the perfume declutter but i wanted to show you the book that i got today so it's called Girl, Wash Your Face, and I heard a lot of good things, so apparently it's, I don't know too much about it, but it's some, it's basically a book about if you are too influenced by what you think people think of you, or if someone tells you you can't do something and you believe that, it's kind of like about finding yourself, finding your passion, going for it, and not being shy about it, and not wondering or like caring what people think and I feel like I need that sometimes um especially with the YouTube you know a lot of people to them it's still a foreign concept to be on YouTube and so they think it's like oh my gosh like you have a YouTube channel that's so weird like there are a lot of people that still don't know like a lot of my um my friends that don't know like Peter's friends really mostly my friends most of them know but I'll look at him he's like don't worry mama I got you um so I feel like a neat little book like that because it's so easy to fall into the whole, oh my gosh, what do people think? I need to, I, and I really, my one thing has always been, I don't want to act based on what I think people would think. I want to act based on what I feel is right. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to start reading it pretty soon. I think, yeah, I think I'll read it soon. I'm, my other option is leaving it for the honeymoon, but I don't think I'll be reading on my honeymoon. I think we'll be just like enjoying ourselves too much to have time to read. So I think I'll start reading it soon and we're just waiting for the snow. Okay, I just finished my perfume declutter and I had 42 bottles and I'm keeping 24. So I will have that video up probably next or maybe like the one after the next one so you'll see that one and now i'm probably gonna eat something again because i got hungry from talking for like two hours and then i'll show you some of the things i got for the wedding i'm making a little personal pizza it looks like this um but if you guys are into home pizza making and you're looking for a good sauce like really good sauce this one from trader joe's is so good this is our third one that we've used in like the last two weeks it's like the perfect amount of like garlic but also tomatoey and like i don't know it's just really really good so i highly recommend it i'm gonna put my pizza in the oven now and while it's making i'm gonna try out my hairstyles for my wedding so i'm gonna clip in the extensions even though i have no idea how to do them and i'll try out and see like what i think looks best because i really do have to decide on the style so okay so just wanted to show you the extensions i got these are the bellamy i feel like the colors are weird um this is the bellamy 160 gram in the length 20 inches and this is the color walnut so it matches my hair really well i don't know why this piece looks like it matches better than the other piece i think it's the lighting here but honestly when you put it in you can't really tell at all and i didn't have to dye it or anything so i'm gonna put it in and try out some hairstyles okay i only to put two in so it's not for volume it's just for length so that i can see what it would look like with my hair down or up and as you can see it really blends very nicely i feel like it's 
like almost the exact like this is extension this is extension my hair ends here so i feel like it's a really good color match um now if i could only figure out what kind of hair to do so yeah i'll play around show you no i'm not gonna show you you'll see on the wedding day okay finishing up the vlog george and i are gonna watch a movie but i wanted to show you what i told you i'll show you some of the wedding things um I put the retainer back in. My little brother got braces today and I was like worried if he's gonna like it or not. Cause you know, like little kids, um, I don't want him to feel like he, like people are gonna make fun of him or something. And he's like loving it. I'm so excited for him. So I'll show you the little poster I got. So I was gonna get, that was the, um, what is it called? The little stand for the poster. I always forget the name of it. What is it called? Um, so we get like a little metal one. Open it. Opens like this. Um, and looks like this. So it just says welcome to our happily ever after. And I got this because I was going to get one that's like custom made for us on Etsy. But... A lot of them, like the ones that I liked, um, came from like another country and I was going to, I went to order it and the shop, sorry, you're crooked, I have to put it back. The shop said that they're taking a break from taking orders and by the time that their, their break would be over, it would have been too late for it to come in on time. So instead of, okay. sorry, so instead of waiting around um and then risking that it's not gonna get here on time or ordering from another store that i didn't like it as much i just decided to buy one that's kind of like generic instead of personalized um but i like it i think it's cute and we'll put it when you walk in there's like a big table with flowers and we'll put it there and we'll put probably some like candles around it and then when you keep walking down the hallway there's um another table where we will have um the table the seating see what is it called place cards so i ordered these on amazon and they're just regular white ones with silver trim and it has a line for the name and a line for the table number and the reason i got them was because i cannot for the life of me figure out where to put three people and so i didn't want to order them on like minted or something because over there you have to put in the table numbers already and i was like i need to be able to change that if i need to i don't want it like a time constraint on when i need to figure out the tables so we'll just write them in ourselves um and also they were seven dollars per one and i got three of them which i only needed two i just i don't know why i got three so i spent like 21 dollars as opposed to like almost 200 that it would have been on minted um the next thing i got is this little thing my brother will hold it it's just says ring security and it's so cute. I got it on Etsy. I'm sorry, I know I'm filming kind of stupid right now, but um, wait, hold on. How do you open this? On this way? Oh, there you go. I got it on Etsy and it came with a badge. I'm going to cover his last name with a picture. And it came with little aviator glasses so he can feel like a little super agent. And I just thought it was really cute and he's really excited for it too. What else can I show you? I don't know if I can show you anything else. Doo -doo -doo. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to show you. But um, yeah, I got the cards today. I got gift bags, thank you cards, um, all the other stuff. And I got these to put in my shoes at the heels so that it's more comfortable. I have a couple of things coming in the mail. So I can show that to you on my Instagram when they come in probably. But yeah, that's about it. So... I'm gonna finish the vlog right now. Georgie and I are gonna watch something and I will see you in my next video next week.